welcome to the road to 1 million US dollars. Let's get right into the Bitcoin chart today because there's some very interesting price action going on right now. Since yesterday's video, we saw a breakout from this triangle pattern. And right now we are testing this trend line to potentially find some support there in the short term. And zooming in on the one hour time frame here, I took a little leverage trade as soon as I saw that we found some support at this trend line. So I shared this setup in my Discord and ended up with a nice little profit of about 51% fully exiting out of that trade. So I got out at the exact top of this wick right here. And if you're interested in getting access to some of those trades, you can join my Discord for free with the link in the description of this video. So moving on, in the case that we don't hold this trend line in the short term here, well, then we will start trading back inside of this triangle pattern again and in the case that we do break out to the downside then the price target that would be confirmed is about 58.5k however in between the level that we are trading at now and this bearish price target there are obviously a lot of support levels so let's take a look at that right now as you can see right now, we are trading in a level of support, which is sitting from about 70,000 all the way down to 68,500 US dollars. And in the case that we do lose this level of support right here, then I do expect we will be moving lower with the next level of support being at about 66,000 down to about 65,500 US dollars. But that's about all for the bearish scenarios. In the case that we do just find some support right now and start trading higher again, then the next level of resistance that you need to keep an eye on is right here from about 72,000 all the way up to 74,000 US dollars. Now taking a look at the Bitcoin liquidation heat maps, you can see that there is a big pocket of liquidity of about $850 million below us at about 67.1K which would actually be the exact bottom of this triangle right here. So in the case that we do end up grabbing that liquidity, we would still be completely fine and just be trading inside of this triangle pattern right here. However, zooming out on the one month Bitcoin liquidation heat map, it tells a little bit of a different story because you can see that most of the liquidity is actually sitting to the upside. First of all, we got $2.2 billion at about 73.1K. And then above that, another $2.2 billion at $74,000. And as you know, if you watch my videos regularly, typically the Bitcoin price gets attracted to where there is most liquidity on this chart. So as of right now, expectation remains exactly the same. I think it is more likely that we end up breaking to the upside, regardless of if we first have to trade sideways a little bit and then break out, or if this is already it, and then we are breaking out right now. But of course, it doesn't matter what I think personally. The only thing that matters is the data. So that's why I will continue to take a look at the data every single day. And of course, do keep in mind that this is not financial advice. I'm simply telling you what I see in the charts and you can do with that information what you like. Now, lastly, taking a look at the Bitcoin ETF flow table, you can see that yesterday we got a decent inflow of about $123 million with Grayscale only selling $17 million worth of Bitcoin, which is very low compared to what they typically sell because typically they sell $250 million every single weekday. However, on the flip side, the BlackRock Bitcoin ETF only bought about $30 million worth when typically they buy $240 million every single weekday. So as I have been saying over my last couple of videos, as long as we're basically still trading inside of this triangle pattern right here, I think the amount of interest in the Bitcoin ETFs will be relatively low. And at some point we will break out either to the upside or to the downside, in which case I expect a lot of volatility and a lot of volume to come back into the markets. Now taking a look at Ethereum on the daily time frame, you can see that we got rejected from the 786 Fibonacci level right here and then started trading down very quickly and reached the 618 Fibonacci level. And as of right now, we got a little bit of a bounce from the 618 Fibonacci level and are right now just consolidating, which you can also see right here on the four hour time frame. We are simply trading sideways in this level of support. So as of right now, there's not too much going on. And I think Ethereum is just waiting for the Bitcoin price to make its next big move. So in the case that Bitcoin dumps to the downside, I do expect we start trading lower here. First of all, there's a little bit of support right here at 33.30, but then below that, there's another big level of support right here from about 32.50 down to 31.50. 
On the flip side, if Bitcoin continues to break out from that triangle pattern to the upside, well, then obviously I do think Ethereum will go along with it. First of all, we have this little bit of resistance right here at 3650, but then above that, there's another level of resistance right here from about 3750 up to 3800. Now, of course, there are even more levels of support and resistance for Ethereum, but I don't want to waste your time with that right now because I don't think we're going to be reaching that before I post my next video tomorrow. Now taking a look at Solana on the daily time frame, we got a rejection again from the 786 Fibonacci level, just like Ethereum, and then started trading down back to the 618 Fibonacci level. And it looks like we have found a little bit of support right here. So we got a bit of a bounce and are now potentially moving back up to the upside. But do be warned because I do think Solana is very close to completely falling off a cliff here. So first of all, you can see we got an exact touch a wick down to this level of support that I talked about a couple of videos ago. And then we exactly found some support at this level that I also talked about previously. And now we are just trading upwards a little bit. But in the case that we actually lose this level of support at about $167, I do think this level, if we're actually trading downwards, won't be much of a support. So then it would be pretty likely that we start trading back down quickly all the way at 150 down to $140. Okay, so this could be a pretty significant move to the downside if we lose this level of support. So do keep that in mind if you're trading Solana. However, just like Ethereum, if the Bitcoin price pumps to the upside, then I do think it's likely that Solana will do the same. So the first level of resistance that we will run into is from about 176 all the way up to $181. And in the case that we do break above that level, then the next level above it is from about $187 up to $191. Now, if you want to learn more about crypto, on the bottom left side of your screen right now, I shared a video about when to buy and sell crypto based off some of these indicators that I show in my videos. So I highly recommend you go check that out if that's something you're interested in. Thank you for watching once again, and I'll see you tomorrow in the next one.